Hello, and welcome to a quick demonstration of OnePlan with Microsoft Project and Microsoft Teams. Here I am logged into my Microsoft Teams Department EPMO channel. I'm going to go to my OnePlan tab to see a list of projects to which I have access. For this demonstration, I'm going to create a new plan and call it Teams Project. Now I can fill in some metadata about this specific project, such as portfolio, program, plan type, goals, etc. Next, I'll create a new team for this project. On my menu, I select Microsoft Teams and then New Item and click Connect. As you notice on the left-hand side, a new item is created for this specific project. Now I can open the item here over directly to the Teams list to open it. Now I've drilled into this particular project. I can add tabs such as Files and Wiki. Here I click on OnePlan. And then I open the Schedule Grid. Notice there is no schedule of tasks pre-built into this project. Next, I'll open up Microsoft Project on my desktop. For this demo, I'll use a template. Next, I will go through the steps to connect this schedule to my OnePlan environment. Once connected, the first step is to map my resources from OnePlan to the Microsoft Project file. The connector automatically recognizes any names that are the same and maps them automatically. I can also map additional resources. For example, Daniel will do all the deployment tasks. Amy Cornell is the manager. Erwin is technical communication. And once mapped, I will save this project locally. Notice that when I expand the tasks, the names of the resources assigned in the project file have changed to show based on the OnePlan Resource Center. Once done mapping resources, I can publish this to OnePlan. I can create a new plan or connect to a plan. Here I look for my new Teams project to connect to that existing project. The tasks are getting published to OnePlan and Microsoft Teams. Back in Teams, I'll refresh my screen. As you can see, I have published my Microsoft Project Schedule to Teams. I can view the WBS Work Breakdown Structure. I can show a Gantt, the Critical Path, the Dependencies. A nice feature is that I can add a Kanban board to do lower level task planning within the overall project schedule. For example, for defined preliminary resources, I may have activities to complete for that task, such as identify skills, identify available resources, and select team. So we can manage those to-dos here. 
Another benefit of publishing my project schedule into Teams is the ability for collaboration. Teams is a great collaboration tool. Now I can collaborate on an individual task by adding a comment. This will send an email and add to the conversation chat for this team that Daniel Williams needs the list of skills for this project. With this published to Teams, I also have the ability to work with my team in a Kanban board. We can hold our weekly meeting to look at our schedule from a board standpoint. We can discuss which items to focus and work on. These are the items we'll focus on this week. This item was completed. This item is waiting for someone else to deploy the software. Another feature with a project published to Teams is that I can get a view of my resource load. Here I see the work assignments for each resource for this project. I can change my zoom and get more details as I hover over an item. But if I want to see the work from other projects as well to see where there may be over allocation, I click show all work and it will load in all work assigned across the projects to which I have access. Here I see that Amy and the developer are over allocated. As a team member, if you want to interact with the schedule, you can go to the departmental team site and click on the My Work tab. This allows team members to see all tasks assigned across projects. Here I see all tasks assigned to Daniel Williams. Team members can make updates, they can comment to their management, and they can collaborate. This is where a team member can make a change to an item or mark an item as complete. Any updates are then sent back to the Microsoft Project file. As the project manager, I can review the updates directly in my schedule. Thanks for watching.